Have you ever seen a Viking ship made out of popsicle sticks and balsa wood? Coils of brown thread for the ropes, oars made out of, what are those, chopsticks, and an authentic red and yellow striped Viking sail made from a ripped piece of a baby's footy pajamas? I have. He died with his sword in his hand and so went straight to heaven. The Vikings often buried their bravest warriors in ships or set them adrift and on fire, a floating island of flame, the soul of the brave warrior rising slowly with the smoke. In order to understand life in Scandinavia during the time of the Middle Ages, you have to understand the Viking ship. So here's what I want the class to do. I want you all to build me one miniature Viking ship. You can use whatever materials you want. You've got six weeks to complete this assignment, but you have to work together like warriors. These are the projects that I am known for as a history teacher, like the Greek Shield Project, or the Marshmallow Catapult Project, or the Medieval Castle of Chocolate Cake. Actually, that one was a disaster, but there was the <laughs> Egyptian Pyramid Project. Have you ever seen a family of four gathered around a card table after dinner, each member of the family holding on to one triangular side of a miniature cardboard Egyptian pyramid until the glue finally dried? I haven't either. But Mrs. Steinberg said that even with the little brother on one side saying, this is a stupid pyramid, Tony. If I get Mr. Molly next year, my pyramid's going to be so much better designed than this piece of... And Tony on the other side going, shut up! Shut up, you stupid idiot! If you let go before the glue dries, I will disembowel you with your Sony PlayStation. It was the best family time that they had spent together since Hanukkah. <laughs> he died with his sword in his hand and so went straight to heaven. Mr. Molly, if that's true, if a Viking died with his sword in his hand, he went straight to Valhalla, then if you were like an old Viking and you were going to die of old age, could you keep your sword right by your bed so if you ever felt like, uh-oh, I might die of old age, you could reach out and grab it and still go to heaven? Could you do that? <laughs> if I were a Viking god, I don't think I would fall for that. But if I were an old Viking about to die of old age, that's exactly what I would do. You're a genius. <laughs> he died with his sword in his hand and so went straight to heaven. Tony Steinberg had been missing from school for two months before we finally found out what was wrong. And then the 12 other boys in the class whispered the name of the disease as if you could catch it from saying it too loud. We'd been warned. The head of the middle school had come to class and said, Tony is going to try to come to school on Friday for a visit, but he's had a rough time. The medication he's taking has made all of his hair fall out, so nobody stare, nobody point, nobody laugh. I always said that I liked teaching in a private school because I could talk about God in the classroom and not be breaking the law. And I like talking about God in the classroom. I do it a lot. Yes, in history class, that's easy. Even the Egyptian pyramid project is essentially a spiritual undertaking. But how can you teach math and not believe in a God, a God of perfect geometric space and time surrounded by archangels and right angles of varying degrees such a God would not give cancer to a seventh grade boy, would not make all of his hair fall out from chemotherapy, totally bald in a jacket and tie. And I don't just mean Tony Steinberg. Not one single kid in my class had hair that day. The other 12 had all shaved their heads in solidarity. Have you ever seen 13 bald-headed seventh graders in jackets and ties, all of them staring at each other, all of them pointing, all of them laughing? I have. And it's a beautiful sight, almost as striking as 12 seventh grade boys one month later standing in a circle outside the synagogue after the memorial service, heads bowed, holding hands, surrounding the smoldering remains of the class's miniature Viking ship, which they have set on fire, the soul of the brave warrior rising slowly with the smoke. Thank you. Thanks a lot.